Are you guys all ready for a new year? Happy new year from it's cheaper than therapy.com. We have a ton of new bundles up to 75% off of these bundles. So don't delay and check those out. Here's our show specials. We'll show them at the end again and get ready. Hello, everybody. This is Maria C., the Sizzix Lady from It's Cheaper Than Therapy.com. Hey, I just wanted to welcome everybody to a brand new 2021. We are so excited for a new year, a new beginning, new everything. Um, last year was really different, and, and uh, as far as growing and changing and adapting and just trying to stay safe and healthy. We just wanted to just give everybody a huge shout out to all of you who supported all the small businesses online, who supported us, shopped online and everything. So we just wanted to say thank you so much for doing such a, a great part of all of us staying together. Um, we want to thank all of the um, the people at Stamboscopic Expo for putting on these uh, virtual events so we all have a platform to stay together. So as 2021 tends to continue, we are going to, um, you know, stick together with everybody, come up and show you some really new um, projects and designs. And, and there's a whole bunch of new stuff that's going on this year. So welcome to 2021. So what I wanted to show you today is um, this is called the Paper Village um, by Sizzix and Tim Holtz. And it looks really simple. On here, it's actually very simple to build. Um, this is the die set that you get, and it also comes in, um, you get the dies in a little baggie, so you're not missing any of the little pieces. And then you also get the um, die storage envelopes. So that's really cool. So all the products that we're gonna be showing today um, are going to be online in a certain section on the left side of the website or in the category that's gonna say January 2nd. So, but what I wanted to show is just how adorable that these are and how easy they are to put together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a few pieces out um, using the Sizzix Big Shot Express, the electronic die cutting machine. So let's get started with everything. Okay, as you get all of your dies out, um, you kinda wanna just kinda make sure that you have them all. So kind of get them sorted out a little bit. Um, you can use this as reference to, you know, see what uh, what shapes and everything that you need. Um, there's all these pieces that are up here in the corner that show you all of the different dies that you get. So if you look, you know, there's all of these different configurations of what you can make um, as far as windows and doors and pitches and, and all of that. Okay, getting ready to cut these out, I wanted to point out first just a little bit of what the pieces look like that you get. Um, this one here does the eight little windows that you see on this little, this tall and skinny house. So this is your tall and skinny house die here. And then you use the eight different little windows and stuff like that to, to make the fronts of, of the card or the house. I mean, not the fronts of the card, but you could actually use them in the cards too. So it doesn't matter which ones that you do. So there's different houses. So there's kind of the wider house, the medium size house, you got the tall and skinny one. And so there's different villages, but there's also different door openings as well. So this one has two windows on each side of the door and you get that one. And then there is the one that has one on each side. Here's that. Here is the tall skinny door, kind of looks churches with the four windows, two on each side. You can actually even do like the little circles. You can have like little sunlight windows, two different sizes of those. One that just configures the two different, um, the two different windows together. And then you also get the different um, pitches of the roof, you know, the different widths and all of that for the different roofs. So let's get started. We're gonna cut some out and we're gonna put some of these together and enjoy. Okay, just laying this out on the um, platform here. This is actually the magnetic platform. So once you have it kind of set, I wanna point out that these little guys are gonna want to gravitate to where the nearest magnet is. So when, you, when you're moving these around, it's easier to move this one to it than it is to um, try to get the little one in the center of it. And so you can just put this where your paper is because they're always gonna gravitate to where the magnet is. 
and that you're not going to be able to fight. And so we're going to do the little circle in there. Strong magnets. And we're going to do the, the door and window there. There we go. So I kind of wanted to show you just how that they move around. But once you have them, then they don't slide off of here. Okay, so you can see they stay on. So make sure that your um, cutting plates are flat. If they're kind of warped or warped over the top, then you're gonna wanna flip them over. Um, don't use the really warped ones on your bottom because if they are warped, they are not going to work. And so the other thing that you can do too is that you can, okay, he wants to, he wants to be finicky is that you can also even do like um you know washi tape and all of that too to kind of help post-it notes everything to kind of help hold it and so that you're going to want to try and uh get situated there we go now we got that little guy okay so then you're going to get your cutting plate and then we're going to cut that piece i'm going to go over to the machine and do that um unless you want to see it working um I guess we could bring it right over here. This is the Sizzix Big Shot Express. It is the electronic die cutting machine. So it's just with the press of a button and just run it right on through. And then we have the cuts. So this one is using the magnetic platform. And as you can see, we've got the actual the actual, let me get this little light over here. There we go. You can see all the little scores for the little door. And here's your roof and all of that too. So we're gonna cut another house, but we're not gonna use any of the windows for the other side of the house. The magnetic platform is also really nice to use when you drop your die on the floor because you can just kind of wave it down there or you can use your um, die brush with the magnetic bottom on it and that'll pick them up too. So watch out for these little pieces and everything, um, you know, that you have. For your project, um, you don't want to lose them. The dye brush um, with the magnetic bottom is great because then you can run it through the bottom of your little scrap um, bag with all your trash and everything in it and you could find little dyes that you might have accidentally thrown away. So it's actually a money saving product, which we just love, love, love. Okay, so now we've got that. And then we can do, um, these are the different, um, these are different colored cardstocks and textures, um, things like that with, uh, um, you know, Sizzix. And then I'm gonna show you some other really fun paper, but you could also use the Renea paper, which is the um, double-sided foil, if you wanted to have certain, you know, um, looks to your home. So I just want to show you basically though how easy it is to put these little houses together. Okay, so we just got a couple other configurations here that we're going to cut out to different colors. And again, you're going to want to cut them out of, uh, you know, two each for the house, you know, one for the front and side and the other one for the back and the side. So don't forget to do that. Okay, so we've got our little pieces all kind of cut out for our basic house. Um, wait till you see some of the amazing things that you can do with this. You can make them look super simple. This is just super simple. But if you have the corrugated paper, which is really super cool, is that it will cut out of this. And the really kind of neat thing about it is how it kind of flattens out when you cut it. If you notice there's a difference between this is very rigid and this has been flattened out and it almost looks like um, like a log cabin type thing. And so when it flattens out, this is what you get on the one side of it. And so just add some little whiteness to it and you've got yourself a winter home or a nice little log cabin home. So now we're gonna put this together and we're gonna put the pink one together first. Put these little guys to the side and we'll put them together in just a little bit and so i gotta be a tweezers i've got um you know a die pick and i've got some little uh the um, express glue from sizzix 
this is the the adhesive that we use here and um, the express is really really nice so we also have the karen burnison fine tip bottle and then we also have this bottle here that we sell and so you just want to find all your little score lines you see all the little score lines you want to give those all a fold and then right here where the other half of the house is okay so they're kind of little these are little tiny houses but um, some of the things and villages and things that they're making with them is just unbelievable. So you just wanna really find where that score line is first before you give it a good crease. And rule of thumb is you can usually kind of see it, but where that little point is where those two angles come together, there's gonna to be a line that goes across that. As we wanna make sure that we get that correct. So when you're putting the house together, then it goes together straight. So. You want everything squared and plumbed and level and all of that. But I mean, just gives so much of a different, um, you know, look to it with the different windows and all of that. And what you can do is you can also put different colored cardstocks or marbling behind the windows and give it a stained glass look. Um, you could do frosted windows. You could add all the little miniature trees and, you know, characters or, um, deer and all of that that they have for like little homes little train sets and stuff like that too so I just want to get those put together okay um, you can also distress these um, if you wanted to um, some of your papers may be more apt to distress than others and so that one just gives a little fold up onto the top and so it's just a matter of getting these two together this one is gonna be adhered right here. And this one is gonna get adhered onto this side, just like that. And do you see the pitch of your roof? So your roof is going to sit on top of these, uh, these little flaps right there. So let's just get this together. And just a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of adhesive right there. You don't want a whole lot coming out. And you want the flap onto the inside of the house, not the outside. And this glue dries clear and it's pretty quick as well with your drying, with the drying time. So what I'm gonna do is just fold this edge right here, put a little bit of adhesive on there. And then I'm actually gonna fold this flat and let that catch up onto it right there. Then you can make sure that everything is pretty much square onto the helm. Fold it this way, get those scores really well. You guys are building a house. So we're we are rebuilding this year. So that's what we're calling it is rebuilding this year. Okay, so now we're gonna put the adhesive onto these little flaps. I love this textured cardstock. It's really pretty. I always love that textured cardstock. And this one is by Sizzix. We have them in the, the sets of those and I'm gonna show you those in just a little bit. So we're gonna put this onto the pitch of the house. But I'm actually gonna turn it over Okay, I'm gonna turn it over, get the point of the house in there. Then I can kind of see a little bit, a little bit better. You'll get your own feel for it of what you're doing. You can take this and kind of do it at an angle if you wanted to do one side first. Just, I guess the hardest part is just getting it straight. You can also use, you know, double-sided adhesives in that too. You can use the end of your die brush to kind of push that down and see how helpful that is. That's very helpful. So if you want to just do one side, you can, and then we can put adhesive on this side again, since we took just a little bit longer time, but I want you to see how it goes together. 
And if things take longer for me, they might take longer for you. You might be faster at it. But we want you to see the real side of it. The real side of it all. So just put that on the edge. Press down. Give it a nice press. And look at, you got a house. Isn't that just adorable? Okay, so we got our front. And I'm going to show you lots of pictures of what you can do with these um, that are on the internet and from Sizzix and stuff too. So I'm going to put together the other two houses. I think sometimes the hardest part of this is when you're on a textured type of cardstock is to actually see, you know, where the little score line is. So sometimes it can be real hard to see that. If it is, the best thing that you could do is actually just take the die and turn it over and you can see exactly where the score lines are at. And so then you can kind of take a look. So if you have a trouble seeing it, that's okay. And sometimes if it's a real skinny edge rather than folding it over, is you can lay it this way and then just grab it and fold it that way. That makes it a little bit easier on some of the little tiny, the little skinny areas there. The larger ones aren't so bad. The larger ones aren't so bad. Give it a little pinch. This one's going to be a little bit more finicky. We're going to fold that one over this way. And sometimes it's even, you know, a little harder for me to do that as well. And I'm going to kind of prop that door open just a little bit now. And we're going to do this side of the house. This is your, you can have windows on all the sides if you want. You definitely have the dies to do it. So it could make it really easy. Um, to make as many windows as you like. You make birdhouses, um, you can make little cities. I mean, Tim Holtz is pretty much a genius on all of this stuff. So thank you, Tim Holtz, for um, creating all of these wonderful things for us to do. Okay, so then you have the front of the house. You have the back of the house. So you wanna make sure that your edges all go together and match. Sometimes I just like to lay it flat onto the table. And then just butt this edge up and then fold it over. You have your own way of gluing. You'll Don't use the tape runners where you just push down and pull back. They're not gonna hold so well on these unless they're like mega, mega, mega strong. Um, and they don't tend to be. Um, double-sided adhesive, Elizabeth Crafts um, makes some really great double-sided adhesive rolls. Uh, we also have the Sizzix sheets that you can cut into um, strips if you wanted to. You can make your own little, um, you know, widths and everything on those. And so, just gonna kind of hold it there for a second. I know, I get emails about my nails, but like I said, I like to work on cars, so, and I don't like wearing gloves all the time. So being at home, I've been able to work on cars a little bit more um, and doing other activities. So here is the roof pitch again, and you can do, you know, different wood, uh, different roof pitches if you'd like. And so what I did is I kind of pushed these out just a hair so that way when I put the roof on, it has something to kind of grab onto. And that seems to kind of work out pretty good. Um, sometimes when you're showing these, it's, um, you know, they're just that new. These are really um, popular. They're really adorable. There's so many variations for all through the year. So we're just coming off of the Christmas holiday season, um, but you can definitely use them for Halloween. And we're gonna put our little pitch on there and I'm just gonna kind of hold that. But with COVID and everything, we haven't been getting our nails done and all of that too. So you can do different colored, um, you know, uh, roofs. Um, you can add bling, you can add glitter, snow, texture, um, distress, you know, all of the Distress ink, uh, Oxide uh, stamp pads, all of the stuff from Tim Holtz. And look at, look how adorable these little houses and that are. Look at that. 
see, we already got almost like a little town all together. Now there are different variations that you can use. So you can actually make a steeple on top of a pitch of a roof. And so there's different ways that you can do that too. And I'll, I'll throw in some pictures and everything as well. So don't forget, um, we got the additional 20% off. That's off of regular price. It's off of sale prices. Um, they don't apply to any bundles that we have online. And it does not apply to any of the craft boxes unless specifically it says so. And um, so you want to do the the welcome therapy um, or the coupon codes on there. I believe it's welcome therapy 2021. And so we want to welcome you, everybody, to uh, 2021. It's cheaper than therapy.com. Make a little town. Rebuild yourself some houses. Have some fun. I want you guys to um, show me what it is that you're doing and send me some pictures and everything, too. The other thing, too, is how would you guys like to win $50? If you go to our Facebook page and if you like it, follow and comment on Therapy Thursday, we are going to give away $50 to um, somebody every single Thursday. So I'll put a little uh, flyer on here so you know what to look for. And thank you all so very, very much. Happy 2021. May you all be blessed, happy, safe, and enjoy all of your crafting. Thank you so much from It's Cheaper Than Therapy.com. Now, could you imagine this with some of the Renea paper? This has been um, cut out and embossed um, with one of the 3D Tim Holtz folders, embossing folders. And then these are the drawers that you can um, use separately too. So the cool thing is that you can make it look like a, you know, a trunk, you know, like a, a, a traveling trunk, a steam trunk. And um, you get all of the pieces except for the left side, the, the, the pockets. Um, that does not come in the kit, but we will have those. And everything is already cut out for you, too. So you it'll look just really similar. The flowers may be a little bit different color. Um, but these little um, drawers that you could use, you can actually make them into little gift-giving boxes. So if you have, like, a little gift that you want to give somebody, you can make them a little box. And then these just slide out. You can also even put in the little photo albums. You could do, um, what is it, a, uh, a recipe box and the little photo books and stuff from, let's see, what is it, the passport and just the um, the small journal that will fit into, into these as well. So you can make like a little library in that too. So adorable, adorable, adorable. Look how nice that looks. And you could even use this paper and everything. I use the liquid glue for it. It works really well. And it um, you know, comes with the handles, uh, the hinges, all of that stuff on the, on the die set. So um, enjoy, everybody. Thank you and welcome. And um, you all have a really blessed day. Uh, we have the woven basket as well. Um, this one is by Karen Bernison. And we got Easter and Valentine's Day, all of that coming up. This will actually fold flat and depends on the size of the envelope, no matter how much, how high you have everything that is here. So everything is going to depend upon um, how high you put it all. So this one is love you. We have these kits also for sale that will be on for sale during that time. And so you get everything that's pre-cut and then we'll, uh, once you purchase the kit, we'll get you the directions for that. And this one is, you're so sweet. You can do all different kinds of things with these. So, um, and I think what we're gonna do is if you go to our Facebook page right now, it's cheaper than therapy, um, and you like, follow, and comment today, January 2nd, we are gonna give a $50 winner for you. And so, um, you know, good luck. We're gonna, we're gonna pick that at the end of the day um probably like at eight o'clock uh, p.m mountain time and then also don't forget we got the special deals on all of the machines and um we're also giving away um Sizzix, and it's cheaper than therapy is giving away a Sizzix big shot machine so good luck to the winner on that one here again are our show specials that we are offering only until the 5th of january don't forget try to win this bad boy big shot Sizzix die cutting machine just look how adorable these little houses are on these little pieces of wood. You can make them in scary, spooky, you know, Halloween type, or you can change the look completely by just changing your cardstock. 
Look at these little springtime houses. Some of them look like they're from, you know, the Netherlands where I was just at last or in January this year. We've got the um, Christmas holiday houses um, that are for like winter homes that are just so beautiful and easy to do. And you can put all the little trinkets in there. And here we got another spooky, you got a little shadow box. And just look at all the little embellishments that you can add to it. What a great gift. Different textures, embossing, inks. Um, you can name it. You can go monochromatic. Look at how these little tins are. Make somebody an ornament too. It'd be really easy to add to as an ornament. Thank you to all of our sponsors too. Thank you for Sizzix for sponsoring us through all of these events. Karen Bernison showing us all these really super cool cards and pop-ups. And um, thank you everybody. Happy New Year from itscheaperthantherapy.com.